so it's 8 a.m. I'm gonna go down and have some breakfast and uh, head over to the tow yard, pick up our loads, and then uh, and we'll be southbound and down. so bad and get that rotator get away from all this cold weather cold eh yeah your truck's blowing smoke because it's so cold too it's so cold the engine can't burn the fuel yeah i'll see you over at rock okay okay trucks on all night long, you know, the, the truck's cold, everything's cold. They sometimes will put ATF in the trucks and the hydraulic tanks, and I don't think I ordered that with this truck, so that's a bit of a mistake. Uh, the pump really, and the hydraulics are really working hard just to move up and down because they're so, uh, the, the oil's so cold. So we're going down to Otto in Quinnell here. He's a fellow I've known for lots of years. Um, and we're going to uh, pick up a truck there. Now what's really bad here, well not really bad, but what's not good is the fact that uh, it needs the drive shaft removed. And um, nobody wants to do a drive shaft at minus 25. My hands are cold just from unhooking Rolls truck. Not to whine, but it's what we signed up for, I guess. But so the truck's starting to get come alive from the cold, you know. And you got to be do things every ever so slowly so that you don't even the steel can break at, at this kind of cold temperature you, you can have something snap we're here now i think it's on double check we're just picking up a wreck that's going back down to the coast happened a few days ago I guess and uh, so it's a bit of a mess but we'll get her. We should probably spend about an hour loading it believe it or not. Hydraulics have warmed up now it's going into gear fine. I'm gonna let the hydraulics run while we're hooking up and warm it up free things up. Probably end up doing a little bit of work coming back in warming up a little bit and doing it again so
worked really well. Just gonna get a bunch of debris on top of here too, like a fuel tank and some other stuff. This drive line had oh, the drive line had load on it. You'd uh, guys have been killed where the drive line has had pressure on it. You undo it and bang, it comes out. Hit somebody in the head. Guy I know actually in the U.S. got killed from that. Settling is not flowing. Five. I just can't, my fingertips are starting to get cold. Got it hooked up, got the brakes released. I've got the drive shaft bolts out. And I'm hitting it with a hammer to try to break it free. I've heated it up just about there, but I just can't go anymore. I'm coming for a break. Really, really, really wish I was in California picking up that rotator right now. I'm not in the cold. So we're just stopping in Kersley, which is just south of uh, Quinnell. A place called the Alamo. It's kind of a truck stop. And we're going to um, maybe get a hot chocolate or coffee. And I'm just going to need a coffee after that little bit of work job there. So just going to check my load and everything. And then uh, we'll have a coffee. 